Om Shanti and welcome back and very good morning to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. See the soul that truth lies within, and we are here going to talk about how to finish the waste thoughts within us. What does God want us to do in order to finish the waste? What does He give us to do in order to finish the waste? So today is fifth of May. We are doing today's recording, and we are able to do it only indoors because it's raining outside in the park, the beautiful park where you could listen to all the birds, and you could. even see the beautiful scenery and most probably when the complete weather is clean we're going to go back again and hopefully we're going to see the kanchenjunga range which is completely covered with ice so let's go ahead let's see what is baba have to say today god father says may you be constantly powerful and finish all waste by keeping your intellect busy by keeping your intellect busy busy in what let's see that those who use the method of keeping the intellect busy become constantly powerful busy we can keep it busy in thinking about others finding faults in others finding what wrong can somebody do how bad can somebody act or behave we can either ponder over it throughout the day that is also keeping the intellect busy but what exactly god wants to say here god says the easy way to finish all waste and to become powerful is to be constantly busy therefore just as you make your physical time table for the day i'll eat it I'll sleep at this time, wake up at this time, jog, eat, bathe, go for work, finish this work, finish my work on laptop, finish this thing, make this thing, construct this. God says, as you make your physical timetable for your children, for your family, for earning, for the health, for the day, every morning also make a timetable for keeping your intellect busy. How? At this time, I will keep this powerful thought in my intellect. Let's say a pure thought that I'm God's child. I have done my work. This is twelve o'clock noon. Let's say, from morning I've been working hard, and now I'm just contemplating. I'm God's child. Did I behave in a certain manner which was not royal? Did I speak in a certain manner which was irritating, or irritable for others? Was I forceful? Was I pushing things around? Was I finding faults in others? Was I gossiping about others? Was I spreading negativity about others? And check. So you can put a timing, or you keep a timing. Put an alarm on your phone and just contemplate. Just meditate for a few minutes, and you contemplate. How do you do that? How do you meditate? How you converse with God and you ask Him, Have you done things right or wrong? Till twelve noon. Then you can do the same thing after a couple of hours in the evening when you're coming back from office, or you are finishing your homework. Homework means not the school homework, housework, your abode's work. So you can do that too. So God says. I will keep this powerful thought in my intellect and finish all waste. If you are busy, Maya will go away from afar. That means if we are checking that our thoughts are still pure or not, we have been working throughout the day, but we have been doing physical work, or we we have been engaged in taking use of the body to do any kind of physical progress work. But what about the mind? What is what about the intellect? What is going on in the mind and intellect? Because that is the energy which we are taking in the work. Physical body is doing the work with the help of the soul. But what is the soul thinking? What is the energy behind it? What is the power behind it? When you do this, when you learn this process, you'll feel lighter throughout the day. You'll feel that yes, I'm removing any kind of weeds which are coming in. I'm removing any kind of waste which is coming in my mind, and then I'm progressing ahead. in a lighter manner in a peaceful manner in a loving manner in a harmonious manner how do you do that for that you'll have to visit the pramakumaris center with this om shanti